What's going on guys? I, I, I am so freaking excited. Today we have another unboxing to share with you guys. Uh, and this is something that I've really been excited about. I did not purchase this originally. This knife, you've probably seen Kevin left the EDC's video on this. Uh, this is, if you see in the title, the uh, Midgard's Messer Mini Viking. Uh, I already have the big boy, and you guys know how much I love this knife. This thing is large and in charge, and I freaking just, it's amazingly put together. Uh, these things are actually built by Concept Knives, which I didn't know when I first did the review on this, but recently has, or uh, have, you know, came to the knowledge of this. Uh, but it's a German company, uh, and the guy behind the company does custom fixed blades. Uh, so yeah, I, I first saw this knife on, uh, oh, uh, Big Red, Big Red EDC, Kyle J. Lanfear. This was his knife. I did purchase it from him. Uh, they are limited run knives. This one is 13 of 200 and this one is also limited, but I don't remember the, uh, the number. Kevin was trying to get number 13 because he knew that he probably wouldn't be just crazy excited about it and that I would pick it up for him. And that is exactly what happened. So let's get into this thing, shall we? Use the Viking to get in here. Do -do 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 -do. And this is actually pretty cool. I saw this on Kevin's video. Um, the uh, the pouch it comes in is very different. So, oh, look at here what we got. What is this? piece of paper i thought it was a note or something i thought it was a love letter from my bubba oh something i am excited about though all right so as you can see here we have really cool magnets for our on the edge program that we have every other saturday it's coming up this saturday don't know when this video will post uh but anyway it's a live stream with me and kevin and uh chris from grady's gear we have some people on we have a good time bust each other's chops talk about knives it's just fun uh so if you haven't checked that out uh do it we uh we go back and forth between mine and kevin's channel uh got another mr lefty edc sticker and this is what's really cool so if you saw any of the footage from blade show where me and kevin went to blade show you'll know that kc uh knives fast he started something and he just took off. He calls Kevin the detent diva, and it is very, very fitting because he is a detent snob, uh, but in a great, in the greatest of ways. <laughs> and so he actually got these put together. You probably have already seen them on his Instagram. Uh, the detent diva. That's freaking awesome. He's going to have some shirts available. I love this idea. He is the detent diva, and I love it. And then look at this. He's got a pin. Oh, <laughs> little pink pin with his blade and this logo. I love it. Holy crap. I'm going to wear this on the edge because this is freaking awesome. So thank you, Kev, for uh, sending that over. That's awesome. <laughs> so here it is. Look at this huge ass uh, case. I love it. It's definitely something that I haven't seen from Midgard's Messer uh, because I have this um, and it came... It didn't even come in a pouch. It might have come in something very generic, but when I bought this from Kyle, he had had that pouch sent out somewhere or whatever. It's no longer available, but I did contact Midgard's Messer, and they got me a box for this and a box for my Midgard's uh, Bomber, which is this guy, another knife that I really, really like. So, you know, I like the limited stuff, too. It's just kind of something that tickles my fancy. These knives are Kyle size knives, big bruisers. So this one is 13 of 200. This one is 67 of 200. And let's see what the mini is. I did purchase this, obviously. <clears throat> Dang, I like this pouch. That's really cool. Holy crap. <laughs> oh, look at that. So obviously we're going to do a full review and there'll be a comparison between these two blades. But I mean, I've got to show you the differences, right? So, okay. So as you can see on the uh, the original here, it's got blue accent, hardware, backspacer, and clip, blue anno. Um, and, you know, it, it, this is seriously a mini version of the exact same thing, except for it does not have the anodization. It's all satin, which I kind of dig. Uh, you know, I don't have to have that pop of color, so I really like the fact that they just kind of went a little different and didn't just do the blue like they did on that. 
This thing is so cool. Now, I'm not sure if it's going to be like the, the Ergos and the grip that I have on this guy is absolutely amazing. It's big enough for my huge hands to really do a lot of grips, which you guys know I also like. Let's see, first of all, how this thing flicks. Now, there is only a, uh, a fuller on these knives for deployment, okay? So it's not a hole. Uh, the detent on this guy is quite uh, light. But the way I do it, I always have to give it a little bit of wrist, but I put my finger way down low on that uh, on that fuller to open this guy. It's a huge chunk of CPM D2 on this, very long blade. I'm kind of hoping that this one is a little bit easier to do that with, uh, especially for a righty. Kevin had a little bit of a harder time as a lefty. So this one is 56 of 200. First flick. Oh, of course I did it. <laughs> Yeah, it's gonna t it's gonna do this. It's gonna be the same way with this. It's going to take some risk to get it out there. I'm okay with that. Uh, the detent feels about the same as far as how light it is. Yeah, it feels about the same. So me flicking me flicking this thing out with a little bit of wrist is not a problem. Oh, oh, <laughs> okay. So it does fit my hands. It barely does in this grip angle because a lot of times this is problematic when knives are not long enough where I might have to fit my big old thick hands inside of this area. It barely fits, but it does. As you can see, my hand on my pinky is just right there, right around it. So that's really nice. I was kind of hoping it would not be too small because if, if this was further back any at all, this would, knife would not work and I would have to get rid of it. Uh, but in this particular grip, I still feel a little cramped, but it's a, it's nice. It's, you know, it's not too small. I like that. Of course, it does have the area to choke up on. It is not as big as the area that you have on this. So my fat fingers are going to, uh, it might not be as good, you know, cause my finger is right there on the edge of that. Yeah. It's a thick boy. Same stuff, guys. Titanium CPM D2. Uh, thick old blade. I like it, though. The frag pattern on both of these is just sick. Uh, I haven't had many frag pattern knives. I do have one coming from e EMP EDC. Uh, the Nimble, uh, which hopefully will ship in the next couple of weeks. I'm really excited about that. Yep. Oh, this is so cool. <laughs> It's cool that I have both of them, okay? I just really love this knife. And so now that I have this to, you know, now I have three Midgard Semester knives. Uh, it's just a really cool company. They're really helpful. Like I said, when I contacted them about boxes, they were like, here, it's going to cost this much. We'll ship it right out. They shipped it really fast. You know, it's coming from Germany, so it, you know, wasn't like overnight or nothing. Uh, but really nice people over there. Yeah, and the more I flick this, the more I'm kind of getting it, uh, getting it, of course, I said that and then I failed. Kind of getting it down, learning where to put my finger on that fuller, kind of like I do with this one. But like Kevin said, it's very smooth and and uh, like polished here. Doesn't give you a whole lot of grip to get your finger in there and actually break that detent. So yeah, uh, that's eh, you know I I've learned how to do it with this one, and so and it thwacks out of there because it's so huge. Uh, I'll learn how to do it with this one reliably as well. Uh, the only thing that I can see as of right now, let's check the lock up. Solid as a rock. It's a tank of a knife. Uh, the only thing that I can see right now is the pocket clip is like this. Now, the pocket clip on this one is not like that. But uh, now that I'm talking about this and noticing it, Kevin did say that he bent it out a little bit because he had a trouble getting it in out of his pocket. So I'm going to go ahead and try it like this. This usually bugs me. Uh, quite a bit, but as long as I don't really feel it or hear it vibrate, it might not. And then, of course, I might just bend it back because uh, that will be simple to do. I do like the pocket clip. It's not deep carry, but it really works well for me on this big guy. Yep, super sided. <laughs> uh, of course, you can always do the slow roll. These things lock up so strong and clicky, you know, that it really, it actually is not a bad slow roll. I don't usually do that. I will usually flick the knife out like this if I uh, if I can help it. Um, so yeah, 
Really, really cool. I am so glad that I have both of these. We will have a full review on this guy and compare it to the big boy. As you can see, it's definitely a mini version of this, and I love them both. <laughs> I'm really stoked. Kevin, thank you so much for allowing me to purchase it from you. You are the man, brother. Uh, and anyways, guys, stay safe in this crazy world that we are living in. Fuck YouTube, and we'll see you in the next one.